The Brave Beast by Chris Judge The beast was resting in his peaceful garden after a long day's work when he heard the noise of an aeroplane coming in to land. Beast! Beast! We need your help! said the pilot, rushing from the plane. Something terrible has happened. There's a scary noise coming from the middle of our island. Everyone is so frightened that they have left. It must be a truly ferocious monster to make so much noise. Would you help us to get rid of it, please? The beast felt very scared. But he decided to be brave and help the islanders. So they both boarded the plane and off they set. When they reached the island, the pilot was too scared to land. So the beast bravely leapt from the plane, jumped and splash and swam ashore. He made his way towards the village. Hello, he called out nervously, but it was deserted. He walked towards the middle of the island until he reached a deep dark tunnel in the cliff. He crawled inside, climbed up and up and up, over, across, under, took a little rest, then continued under, around, up and up again until finally he reached the far side of the island. He made his way through a spooky forest, which got thicker and thicker until it got very dark. <gasps> the beast was so scared that he ran round and round the forest in fright. At last, he found a gigantic tree to hide behind. But the noise was coming from right behind it. Cautiously, the beast edged his way towards it. Plucking up all his courage, the beast peered around the trunk and saw... A tiny little bird! Surely it wasn't you making all that noise? asked the beast in disbelief. The little bird explained that he had got lost and had landed on the island. I'm sorry that I made so much noise and frightened away the islanders, he sobbed. But I was very lonely and couldn't stop crying. The beast went back to the village and phoned the pilot to let him know it was safe for the islanders to return. Don't worry, said the beast. I am sure that the islanders will look after you when they hear what has happened. The islanders were very happy to return home. Relieved that the beast had solved the mystery, the islanders were only too happy to invite the little bird to live with them. They gave him a job in the lighthouse and he was thrilled as it made him feel very important. Wahoo! The grateful islanders waved the brave beef goodbye and said that he was welcome to come and stay any time. But the beast was very happy to be home again in his peaceful garden. Until his next adventure, at least. The end.